The Lux Algo, Bill Noble Indicators. I'm your host, Bill Noble. In working with Lux Algo, I spoke with people about custom indicators. They came to me and said, hey, what would you want to build as like a, a custom vehicle? So I did two things. One, we had something where we could identify Elliott wave tops and bottoms or five waves for multiple uses that I'll explain. But I wanted to be able to do it 10 symbols at a time. In other words, I don't want to have to scroll through a million charts. I want to have like a watch list inside Lux Algo that will tell me whether there's a five wave top and what date it occurred on so I can take it to look at the chart and make certain judgments. The second one has to do with using Fibonacci math to do something very new on, and that's to find a possible bottom of messy correction, whether or a possible top of a messy correction in a down market. There are things in Elliott Wave called ABC. That's what a correction looks like. But if the correction gets messy, it starts to make X waves. And trying to find the bottom after the messy X signal can be challenging and I wanted a little edge. So let's kick into the screen share and start working on explaining these indicators. So today is November 11th, 2024, the day Bitcoin pressed through 85K, a very big day. Now, if we go to Lux Algo here and I click indicators, okay, we're gonna go to Trend Starter. That's the name of my indicator or the first one. Now, what Trend Starter will do is it will pop up this list of symbols. So these are the symbols that I typed in, right? There's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, stocks like Coinbase and Riot. Now, what this is going to do is tell you the date of the last fifth wave signal. So in Bitcoin up here, all right, it says the last signal was over on November 9th which was two days ago. So let's go take a look at what Bitcoin looks like and why, you know, getting these informations in like 10 symbol increments can be useful. So if we look at Bitcoin on a daily chart, okay, you can see that this recent move that started in September and then accelerated off the election, okay, I have them labeled here in orange. You have this one, two, three, four, five wave structure. Big trends have five waves. Waves one, three, and five go in the direction of the trend. And what I'm interested in is five wave signals for a couple reasons. One, five waves can be a top. They're very emotional. They can also be very useful five wave tops, if say you're coming off a low. So if you're coming off a low and the market goes up and it makes a completed five wave structure, then you know it's an uptrend, right? Then you know you should be buying the next dip. Conversely, you know, if you have a, a five wave top, perhaps it's going to get a little bit emotional. Perhaps it's going to go, I don't know, perhaps farther. But once it overshoots, sometimes it could come back and range trade. And then there's a third scenario where a five wave signal occurs and there is no top which is a sign of ultra super strength and a fundamental shift. I like using it as a signal as to whether to take profits or just proving that we're still in a bull market. When a market moves sideways and can't make a five wave structure, it's not a bull market. So as you can see here, Bitcoin started in September and has gone one, two, three, four, five, right? And then the Bill Noble indicator will give you the dates where these things occur for a variety of symbols. And what's really cool about it is you can change the symbols if you like. So it's not set in stone. You can go in here and if you want to do, say, polka dot instead, okay, you can put in polka dot and instead of Cardano in this third slot, fourth slot, you now have polka dot. So you can change out the symbols and it'll filter and tell you, hey, this was the last five wave signal. Maybe there hasn't been one for a while. Doesn't matter. You can get information 10 symbols at a time, which I think is important, particularly if you're looking for new trends or the top of an old one. So that is how that works, just as a brief Elliott Wave tutorial in Bitcoin. You know, there was a huge five-wave top in March. Then there was a correction. Then there was another five-wave move. And each of these five waves, you know, they proved you were in a bull market, but there was a significant top. And this awful range that occurred 
right here. This awful pre-election range. And then it just started again. So it was a bull market, but you did have to live through a corrective period because, you know, you'd had these couple of five wave tops that said, you know, that was it for now. So it was a bull market that needed to correct. And that's what you want. Hey, this needs to correct. Oh my God, should I FOMO in? No, maybe you can wait for a pause. Now in a bull market, pauses can be brief, right? Or they could be extensive. Now in SUI, it's just an example about how the whole five wave thing works. So in SUI, you had this big five wave up move in September and October. You did the overshoot here, okay? It comes off and the correction actually had five waves. And then when that five wave signal showed up, like, Lux Algo will identify it as a five wave bear. In other words, it went down and it was bearish for five waves. And then once you caught the five wave bottom, it was gone. And in Sui on November 11th, there's no sign of a five wave top, no sign. So lack of a signal can also be a signal. And you can check that by looking at the indicator and checking what dates are next to it. If there's, if there hasn't been a top in a while, or there isn't a top right now, there's no top. And you can do this 10 symbols at a time. Now, switching over to this very nuanced indicator, right? This is called Fibonacci exhaustion. So prior to the election, prior to this huge takeoff that we're in, as I'm filming this, the market was in an awful range for like seven months. And I became really interested in once these corrections became sloppy, like this one in Ondo, the security token play or the real world asset play, I became interested in, you know, just like, hey, can we find the bottom? So there's this Fibonacci exhaustion indicator, right? So I click on Fibonacci exhaustion, okay? And it'll draw something like this. And what it does is it's taking this messy correction and it's measuring the distance of the waves, which, you know, in itself can be challenging. So it's measuring the distance of the wage and then it's using Fibonacci math to say, hey, I would like you to find me a bottom. Use Fibonacci math to see if we can catch one. Catch when this sort of ugly correction thing is going to come to an end. So you use the Fibonacci extension math by saying, use the distance between the B and the X wave, okay? So again, it's, it's doing like serious Elliott wave work for you in a menu. It gives you three choices of distances to use without you having to measure. It's as simple as I can put it. In this particular case, the 23% extension of this X wave, right, actually helped you catch the bottom, right? It was like, hey, you know, you may have to play around with the Fibonacci levels depending on how messy the correction is, but I'm always looking for an edge because once a correction gets messy, it can be really hard to find the bottom. So this just gives you that kind of an edge. Now, if we go to a, a more complex example in ETH, right? So this is an 89 minute chart of ETH. Okay, so in ETH, you know, you got this signal, but it never quite got to our levels. It never got to these thin green lines over here. Okay, I'm gonna label them this way, right? So what I'll do is I'll go back to the the Lux Algo indicator itself and I'll say, all right, try a different wave measurement. And wouldn't you know, the different wage wave measurement got much closer to the actual low in ETH. So literally what you're doing is you're checking back and forth. It's like, hmm, is it hitting our line here? Is it hitting our line there? See these big wicks down in ETH? So it's subtle. It's not as fancy as the Elliott wave indicator, but trust me, when you're in an awful range, it'll come in handy. Now, circling back to Elliott Wave just for a moment, this is really cool because the Elliott Wave indicator will adjust depending on what time frame you're in. So if you went to a daily chart, right, you'll get all the signals from the daily chart. And if you go to a four-hour chart, it will give you the signals on the four-hour chart. So if you're a day trading guy and you're on five-minute charts, this will help you give you the list of 10 coins all at once for the time frame that you're interested. As I've said, Lux Algo sells itself. If Lux, if they didn't give me the indicators, I would buy it. And they used their programming staff to create these things after I just gave them a verbal story of what would be nice. And I've worked with programmers before, and that in itself is impressive. So please buy Lux Algo. Please take advantage of their program abilities. Buy the Bill Noble indicator. And, and let's let's take this crypto market, let's ride the trend up, let's find the corrections, and let's change our lives together.